People tell me they care. But tell me when I'm down at my lowest, are you there? When I feel no one loves, do you prove me wrong with your share? As I stare into the mirror, I get struck by fear, knowing I'm living in a fast lane, but I'm the one to stare. I want to know what will be my career. God, please help me keep myself in gear. See, lately I haven't been myself and I've told lies. I have pain inside, look through my eyes. I don't have any pride, I'm not very positive, but everyone wants it, so I fucking hide. Hide all the pain and all the burdens, all the tears and all the emotions. But I've been on paper so I don't kill myself, that's why everything has been wrote in. I've been and still am heartbroken, I am tired of going through the motions. I want to show people to live life in the moments and to enjoy every single minute of it, but it's hard to say when I can't get through my own shit. But fuck it, I will keep faking my attitude and holding it all in. I mean, that's all we do now as people, we just try to blend. Just remember, looks can be deceiving, you never know what's going on in the hearts of men. Alright, so, um... That was my super low rap. Uh, my friend Ivan, which I'm pretty sure you'll be watching this right now, he told me uh, that the mic quality isn't that good and you can't really understand what I'm saying. I can't really help it considering I don't have a mic. I mean, I got this. I don't know if it's going to sound good or not. Um, but yeah, uh, this rap was just talking about how. Everything else to talk about, basically life, just, you know, you know, do people actually care am I, whenever I'm at my lowest and stuff like that, and, like, just saying how, like, I always have a smile on my face, but I always got pain inside that people usually don't know about anymore, like, I used to show it, like, I used to be pissed all the time and depressed all the time, but eventually, like, people like it whenever, because after I did this one girl named Abby, like, she basically changed my personality I changed to make her happy and then I also felt happy being with her and then breaking up with her uh, I kind of just kept the mood because everybody enjoyed my happiness and stuff like that so I just kept the smile on my face and just keep the pain inside and it's basically what I do every single day so I mean I hope this sound a little bit better and maybe you caught what I was saying um yeah and the one part that says just remember looks can be deceiving you never know what's going on in the hearts of men that part is very important because you can look at someone and they could be the most like most enjoy most joyful person on the planet and you don't know what's going on in their actual life for Karime I'm she was the same way, well, at least, I seen her always smiling every day, she was always happy and enjoying her life, and then she ends up killing herself, it's, it sucks, but it happens, you never know what's going on in the hearts of people, so, and hearts of men, I don't mean men necessarily, men is just people in general, so, any girls that watch my videos, don't take that personally, I guess, or whatever, I don't fucking care, do what you want. I mean, this is just my way to vent. I don't. I mean, like I said, I'm here. Fucking right here. But I vent on paper so I don't kill myself. That's why everything has been written. Because everything that ever comes to mind, everything that's ever hurting me or bothering me, I write it down. And then that's how. That's, music is the reason why I haven't killed myself. Like this little Sharpie tattoo, it's like got a little thingy me jig right here. She probably don't know what it is, but it's like a little, I don't even remember what the name of it is. It's not Trouble Clef or anything like that. Some, like, some kind of like music staff thing, and it like has this little line. It's like the heartbeat thing for, you know, if somebody's like heart rate whenever they're, you know, like watching the heart rate on the little screen. That's what, This is supposed to symbolize that, you know, music has kept me alive. And it's true, music has kept me alive. Through all the bad times, I always either listen to music or make music. It's one of the two. And it's helped me a lot. You know, whenever there's nobody there, I got... I got reps right. And I know I got family that watches this. You know, and... My little brother apparently showed... My... One of our church members, my rap video. Which pissed me off because it's like... You know, why do that if, you know, you know that it's a church member and you're just embarrassing me, first of all. And second of all, 
you're trying to make me look bad and he says that I don't go through all the stuff that I go through and actually I do he doesn't live with me so he doesn't understand I I'm never I never said I lived in like off food stamps and I'm broke and I'm always getting abused and shit like that I've never said that the only time I've ever said that I lived in a broken home which I explained this in a video a while back was saying that I deal with a lot of arguing at my house that's the only type of broken home and I'm always judged by my parents and stuff like that on what I wear and shit like that but I never said like I had the worst life on the planet I just have a lot of emotions and things that I go through at school that Isaiah you don't even know about so you know you can't just sit there and say that I don't you know I don't go through the stuff I go through I don't write it down and then fake it I don't do that if I'm going through it I'm going through it that's how I vent it I don't like talking I've gotten to a point to where I don't trust a lot of people so I don't talk to a lot of people and then family members I just for some reason family I don't know I don't I've talked to, to family over the years so much that I kind of want actual friends in real life that are my age that I can talk to that will just sit there and just listen to me, not sit there and let me talk for a little bit and either interrupt me and tell me what they're thinking or tell me that I'm stupid and shit like that. Like I just want people that will listen to me and just leave it at that. That's all I want. Somebody who's going to love and care for me. I've already went through this. I mean, I got family. I know I got family. I love my family dearly. My uncles, I fucking love my uncles. Like, you know, pe and I'm like, I can't say people because that makes no sense, but they're buying me an Elgato, and it means a lot to me because I know that I want to turn gaming into, or I want to turn my dreams of gaming into, you know, real life. Like, I really want to do YouTubing and live streaming professional gaming as my job. And, you know, they, they get that. And they kind of had the same ambition a little bit. They just never really got into it. I mean, that's the only reason why I'm playing today is only because of my own goals and my dad. And them always playing Halo since I was a kid. I have a, I have a freaking, this is so weird to show on the internet. I have a picture from whenever I was like, I don't even know how old that was. I was playing a freaking racing game. Look how much of a baby I look. I've been playing games since I was a kid, and now I use it as a way for me to enjoy myself, first of all, whenever I'm at home, because I have nothing else to do, I don't have kids around my block, and also it helps me get away from stress and school and stuff like that, it just helps me get away from all of that, so, yeah, alright, I'm done ranting, uh, I just want to kind of get a little bit of things off my chest, this is the only way I get it off my chest, <laughs> Power, I know you're probably watching this, or I can't remember who it was. I got banned on Xbox Live, but uh, I've been Skyping with a couple of people while playing. And uh, so, I don't know who it was, but somebody says that somebody said something about me, like having to show my emotions on videos or some bullshit like that. Like, you you threw something at me, and it pissed me off because, you know, whenever you don't have, whenever you feel like you don't have anybody besides family. You kind of make videos, you know, and I can't, I can't explain it, like, because I'm so, because I'm so, a, such a depressive person, like, I'm sorry, like, I can't help it, it's just me, I'm raised like that, I, I wasn't raised like that, I was just, I don't know, I guess growing up around my mom, kind of growing up around her, there's a lot of negative stuff from her, negative vibes and stuff, so, yeah all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end off the video i hope you guys enjoyed uh if you're new to my channel uh you can subscribe expect gaming content and stuff like that uh and also raps um guys i'll be putting on a vlog eventually like a uh like either 150 or 200 i wanted to put up one for 100 but i was like sitting there and i was thinking about it. i was like eh. I want to do it for like 150 or 200. I'll probably end up doing it for 200, and then that's whenever I'll go and do a vlog. But, alright. So, I will see y'all later. Peace.